And in reality, everything that we do, whether it be a call center, whether it be injection molding, assembly, kitting, um, and a whole wealth of things that, that fall in between, are all driven by one singular mission, which is employment of people who are blind. So uh, I was adopted when I was three and uh, became an American citizen when I was four years old. And uh, we traveled all over the world and I saw uh, people from all walks of life. Uh, we lived uh, in a lot of third world countries and visited a lot of places where people had very little. So there was probably early on in my life um, a a recognition that there are um, people and places that are in difficult uh, straits and that um, people who are blessed with opportunity and bounty and uh, should, should give back. Uh, businesses that hire people with disabilities find they are remarkably capable and talented. They are incredibly loyal. Um, and they have a tremendous work ethic. They just need to be given an opportunity. Um, and so our, our job and this field that I'm in um, is about breaking down those, those walls of, of assumption, largely uh, false assumptions, and do so by demonstrating the capabilities and capacity of people with disabilities um, and the work and the work product that they can produce. Um, when Alpha Point was founded in 1911, the, the, the things that were being done across the country that employed people who were blind at that time were all tactile jobs. They were all things that, that people who were sighted perceived that people who were blind would be good at and could do uh, effectively. So they were repetitious. They were um, highly tactile, highly touch oriented, you didn't have to, have to see to be able to do it. And so one um, bedrock of products that were produced across the country by people who are blind were brooms. Uh, it was founded in 1911 by blind people. Um, so it was a, a group of 30 blind people met at Bud Park uh, in Kansas City. And they said, we need to solve the challenges of the day for people who are blind. At that time, it was housing, transportation, and employment. Not really any different than today. They started off with eight blind men and an eight and a blind supervisor, Edgar Shaper, and they started uh, doing two things. They, they made brooms and they cane chairs. And then over time, we diversified. We recognized that not every blind person wants to make brooms. Some people would like to do other things and they'd like to use uh, uh, their skills in other ways. And so we really grew, grew this enterprise to include retail, e-tail, uh, call center, um, molding, um, and a whole host of things. So first, you know, the easy thing for us is we're a manufacturer. So we, we are an injection molder. I have uh, uh, nine blow mold machines of various sizes and uh, about uh, an, another 10 injection molding machines anywhere from uh, you know, uh, I think it's nine ton little pneumatic presses to, uh, to a, a 200 ton presses uh, so that we can do a variety of different injection molded components. We sell a variety of commodities, everything from mops, brooms, brushes, writing instruments, and we have a, an online uh, retail op operation as well. And we offer a call center, a uh, 60 seat contact center, that uh, employs people who have uh, different languages and we are 24 seven. You know, we, we've been developing our own um, medical devices. Uh, we, we developed, uh, I have an employee works for us that's a former Green Beret medic. And, um, and he knew that there were some challenges in the marketplace with existing tourniquets, splints and other devices that were used on the battlefield. And so we have developed our own uh, tactical, mechanical and tactical pneumatic tourniquets that are used by our soldiers. Close to 400,000 have been fielded already. We have talented people that would love to find jobs. We can't employ all the people who are blind in Kansas City or in New York, I guarantee you. 
There's 150,000 in New York. There's, I think there's 60,000 people that are visually impaired in, in the Kansas City metro area. Uh, but the real success, I think, and probably the one most important ones for me is when we first came, when I first came to Alpha Point, we were serving about 250 to 300 people who are blind a year. Uh, today, we're serving close to 3,000. Uh, we offer clinical services that we never offered before, uh, helping people who have uh, low vision. Um, maybe they're not um, um, diagnosed as legally blind, uh, but they're having real significant difficulty with vision, and it's affecting their function, their ability to really have a, a meaningful and, and uh, productive life and, and live independently. And so our connection uh, to people has magnified about tenfold. I'm really, really proud of that. 